All right, this is take three. I, I have no idea what I'm gonna say in this video, but it's important to make uh, this video to telling you why uh, I am now working a regular job, you know, off the streets, or, you know, the streets is like a really negative connotation for being like nomadic, you know, and just being uh, low, like minimal responsibilities. Like, tell you the truth, in my opinion, it doesn't make you a bad person, doesn't make you any less of an environmentalist, etc. but you're not a minimalist if you're living in a house and you got a lot of material possessions. If you're a minimalist, hardcore, so minimalism, like, minimalism is a process. You become minimalist, right? Because you gotta do it in a safe way. Just because somebody's homeless on the streets barefoot with, uh, you know, nothing but a shopping cart full of, you know, empty soda cans, that doesn't necessarily make you a minimalist. So mi becoming minimalist is a process. Check out becomingminimalist.com. I haven't been there in a few years, but it's a pretty cool website last time I looked. Uh, yeah, my point is, I, I want to be minimalist. I want to be traveling the world just free, man. I want, I want to have, have the most freedom I possibly can. So minimal, but you know, uh, what's my point? I decided I wanted to become a minimalist as opposed to just like <laughs> living life by the seat of my pants in a way and by that I mean like not really having any control over my life but the, this is gonna be a quick video because all, all I gotta tell you is the main fucking reason I decided not to be living that alternative lifestyle which I really loved uh, you know people say oh you're homeless they look at you you're like dirty bum I remember I'd go into a, a restaurant uh, to get some takeout and I got turned away one time. This lady just looked at me. It was like a Chinese restaurant. This lady just looked at me, took one look, and just shook her head. I'm like, what? Like, I was just a, re a person with a backpack and, like, long hair. She just took one look at me and shook her head. Like, people fuck. there's such a stigma against doing the right thing, man. Um... But the, the one main reason, I could have lived out there d doing that and been much mentally healthier than I am now, but the one drawback is the food, man. The food system is fucked up. Way too problematic. You cannot give, take what life gives you uh, if, if you have health issues. Some people are able to just like go with the flow, just eat whatever the fuck you know, and not even have to worry about it. But for people like me, like I grew up on a very unhealthy diet. Well, it was supposed to be like super healthy, but it was like based, meat based. Like I, I ate mostly meat. Meat was, you know, and I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with that type of diet. That's so called healthy, you know, just meat and like olive oil and vegetables and like a little bit of rice about the size of the palm of your hand. You know, maybe the size of a fist if you're lucky. And that's the idea of a healthy meal. You want more? Eat more meat. But you know, you don't want more rice, etc. You know, and fruit, vegetables. For, forget about it. You know, you just get like a little single serve. Get finish. I'd finish my vegetables first, growing up, so I could be done with them and get onto the good stuff, the salty, you know, stimulating. I mean, obviously, my favorite part was always the carbs, because that's just natural. Your brain tells you, give, give me carbs, you know, and. That's, if your favorite if your favorite food is not a carbohydrate food, you're lying. You're being dishonest. Your favorite foods are carbs, man. I'm telling you. Um, yeah. Just anyway, I was it was eating out of dumpsters, you know, when I was homeless, when I when I was uh, out there doing minimalism. So. Uh, yeah, I came home to like build myself up, you know, get a financial base, blah, blah, blah. But that's all a bunch of fucking bullshit, man. Like this, this is called the rat race for a reason. It's, 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 we, we have to be changing stuff, man. We, the, the whole, the whole meaning of life is just being a game changer. If, if you don't have purpose, it, life is not worth living. If you don't, have a reason to be changing stuff if you don't have have like a big 
big motivation. And if you don't want to do things basically with your life, if you don't want to do something with your life, actually, then what's the point? You know, you just it's, you're gonna be go crazy. You're gonna be suicidal, man. So you know, a lot of people watching this like already have some purpose and stuff. Uh, hopefully, you're not suicidal watching this video, but. Um, it, you know, if you are, go vegan. Uh, yeah, so I, I decided I would come home and like do this regular lifestyle so that I could choose what goes in my mouth as opposed to what society gave to me. And that's the, the number one reason. That's just, that's it. That's the only fucking reason. Otherwise, I'd be out there doing just what I was doing. Uh, get a sleeping bag, get a blanket. If, if there were just unlimited fruits and vegetables and you know, just whole plant foods out there available to the public, like, yeah, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> I, I'd, I'd be out. I'd be out living life, like, seeing the world. There's more to see on this planet than anyone will ever be able to see. And I want to see as much of it as I can. But I can't do it being fueled by just refined, yeah, garbage and dead animals and stuff, you know? I need to do it on fruits and and sweet sweet starches and vegetables. I need my simple sugars or else I can't just live life to the fullest. So that's why I'm here. And I, so same same goes to you like whatever uh, whatever it is that you're doing yeah, you'll you'll feel so much better in every way. The the the, the fruits and vegetables are so worth it, man. It, but um, pick one, pick one. Do do the do the healthy living, like live super healthy, or the other part. Go fulfill the other health, mental health needs. You know, just experiential health needs. Go fulfill those. Like go out and live. If you don't, if you're not into healthy, crazy healthy eating, go fucking live, man. Go do something with your life. That's my advice. Pick one or the other, but don't just be one of these boring fucks, man. All right, so that's the video for today. Thanks, guys. Peace.